Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for coming to hear the book, Where Do You Sleep? In this song, we are going to do some of the animals in sign language. Do you know what sign language is? It's when, yes, yes, it's when you say words with your hands. So in this book, I'm gonna share some of the animals in sign language and we can all do the signs together. And Shiloh is going to turn the pages for me, thank you. So our first animal in the book, oh, sorry, there's one page before that, <laughs> is the cow. And this is the sign language for cow, sort of like its horn, yeah. Or its ear, yep. Yeah. Cow, 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 where? I sleep in the barn on a bed of straw. This is the sign for bird. Bird, like its little beak? That's right. Bird. <laughs> bird, bird, bird. Where do you sleep? And the bird said, yeah, that's right, right? <laughs> I sleep tucked away on the branch of a tree. And something I learned when writing this book is that birds, after their babies hatch, they don't sleep in their nest. They sleep on the branch of a tree. Oh, our next animal, we have a raccoon. For raccoon, we make their face mask, and then we turn it into the letter R, like this, raccoon, raccoon, and we have a porcupine. So porcupine, hold a fist like this, and then there's his spikes. There's the porcupine. <laughs> Some sleep in the day, some sleep at night, resting their bodies curled up tight. Some sleep in the day, some sleep at night, resting their bodies curled up tight. It's time for sleep. And the sign for bear looks like this. Bear. 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 They sleep. Where do they sleep, Sammy? The bears. Sleep in a den hidden in the woods. Sleeping in his den, our cave. That's right. Oh, and next is a fox. To do this, that's right. To do the sign for fox, we're gonna make the letter F in sign language, and we're gonna twist it at our nose. That's fox. Fox. That's right. Fox. 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 Said, I sleep in a den nestled down underground. They sleep underground. Some foxes' dens can be six feet underground. That's taller than me. Isn't that cool? And in this picture, can you see who's sleeping? Yeah, a deer under the tree. There's a deer. A deer. And then, can you see who's sleeping high up in the tree? Oh, that's a good guess. It's a little squirrel. So for squirrel, we're gonna hold our fingers up like this and tap them together. Squirrel, squirrel. Some sleep in the day, some sleep at night. Resting their bodies, 
curled up tight. Some sleep in the day, some sleep at night. Resting their bodies curled up tight. It's time for sleep. We're gonna make the whale's tail like this. Like that swimming. Whale, whale, whale. Where do you sleep? And the whale said, That's right, Raya. I sleep in the sea, quiet, dark, and deep. You are right! And bats sleep in an interesting way. Do you know how they sleep in that cave? Upside down! That's right! They sleep and they can make their wings into a little blanket. So this is the sign for bat. Bat. Bat, bat, bat. Where do you sleep? And the bat said, I sleep a, up, I sleep upside down in a cave or a tree. He's sleeping upside down and he can wrap his wings around him like a blanket. Do you see who's in the tree? An owl? Like this? And who's sleeping down below? Skunk. A skunk. A skunk. Some sleep in the day, some sleep at night. Resting their bodies curled up tight. Some sleep in the day, some sleep at night. Resting their bodies curled up tight. It's time for sleep. On the branch of a tree, in a den in the woods, in the deep blue sea, animals sleep just like you and me. And there they all are sleeping. The end. Thanks for listening, guys. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Shiloh. We have, um, Marie has some of her books. If you'd like to take one home with you, you can talk to her about that. And I have some pages. I'm going to put your book down right there. Oh, sure. Um, I printed off some different animals. Some of them are the ones that you saw in the book. So I have some oh, birds. Awesome. And I have a little deer. And well, that one my daughter just wanted me to have. <laughs> that was nice. We could but have I'll, had a lion in there. Could, yeah. <laughs> you could probably roar like a lion. I don't know the yeah. sign for lion. Do you never? Oh, that yeah, makes sense. Like the name. Yeah. <laughs> but then, if you after you color them or decorate them, if you want to make them cozy for sleeping, we'll get out some glue. And you can wrap them up in a blanket oh, I love or a that. scarf and help them stay nice and warm while they're sleeping because it is cold today. I love that. It's